All right, well, if you haven't heard, the cloud space is exploding with growth. Just look at shares of Salesforce, Microsoft, even Amazon. Here now with more to talk about this is Steve Smith, CEO of Equinix. And Steve, uh, it's been a while since you've been here, so just remind us what Equinix does. We're in the business, Scott, of, of designing, building, and running data centers to help enable companies that are moving to the digital, to the digital world. So we're, we, we help them with their infrastructure on a global basis so they can take advantage of the cloud, take advantage of all the... Uh, all the capability that we have inside of our company. Because people may not realize the cloud is not just the cloud. You need some sort of physical infrastructure to back it up, and that's where you guys come in. You do. We're a big player in that role, but there are many companies helping these companies you just mentioned. But our role is pretty significant because as, as the world distributes and is, is data and cloud information and, and people are distributed all over the world, these big cloud companies have to distribute their information and all that content on a global basis. And we're you know, we're set up in 44, mar big, 44 of the biggest markets mm -hmm. in the world in 22 countries. So we're a very attractive partner to help enable this. And, and who are your, some, uh, some of your clients? Can you name any uh, names? Well, not by name, but we, our, our top 10 customers, for example, are some of the biggest cloud providers and biggest telecommunication companies in the world. And they, they, they average over 40, 40 of our data centers across all three regions of the world, Europe, Asia, and the Americas. So very dispersed. Helping them, helping them with their global agendas. And you kind of alluded to this before, but we're seeing a lot of legacy companies like GE shift to the cloud. That's good for you. And then we have all these unicorn companies that are solely digital, like Airbnb, yes. Uber. So set the stage for us on that front. Two different kinds of companies. You have the old companies that are making the migration to the new digital world, you know, whether it's a retailer or a manufacturer or a healthcare company. They're all changing their agendas today to, to make it easier for consumers and businesses to, to use their, their offerings. The, the companies that were born in the cloud, that's a whole different, that's a whole different set of companies. And they'll, they're growing very fast. They, grow, they go directly to the cloud providers for services right out of the gate. And so like you and I pay for power and electricity at home, they're paying for compute, storage, and networking as a service uh, with a monthly bill. And that makes sense for startup companies. Many of those companies will get to a certain size where They'll continue to use multiple cloud providers, mm. and then they'll, they'll get big enough where they'll actually start to own their own server infrastructure, and that's where we come into play to help them. So if you're young, you're a small company, probably going to the cloud directly makes a lot of sense. Once you become a mid-size to a small large, you're probably going to have to have infrastructure, and that's where we come in. And it's also the Internet of Things space that you're taking advantage of as well. It's part of the agenda. I, you know, I think the big debate going on today is, how much compute storage and networking is going to happen in the cloud, which is just the next computing paradigm shift. But as all these things, devices, cameras, computers, cars, homes, all these things get connected to the internet, there's going to be a lot of that data stored out around the edge of the network. It's this concept of edge computing. So we're, we're, we're looking at both very deeply to figure out where do we want to play to, to help facilitate. Well, and just to put this in perspective for everyone, Equinix shares are up 25% this year, 57 consecutive quarters of sales growth. It's hard to think about the risks in the cloud space, but what headwinds lie ahead for you? I mean, are you guys trying to tune out the noise in Washington, D.C. and just head down, focus on your business? Yeah, we're a, we're a pretty heads-down company culturally. Um, and listen, we're, we're fortunate that we play at the intersection of some of, the, of, some of these, these great trends that are going on in the world. And so our, our job is to go help these companies and enable them to be successful in the digital world. And it really doesn't matter. We're, we're talking to all of these industries, and we're helping the retailers move to, to buying things on, online, taking advantage of all the networks we have in our data centers to move information quicker. The store of the future is, is, is a requirement that's very interesting to us. Manufacturers, particularly car manufacturers, everybody's cars are becoming more and more connected, eventually on their way to self-driving cars. So that requires a lot of infrastructure all over the world mm -hmm. next to all of those cars and all of those people to enable those things. So we look for those kinds of opportunities to use our data centers. We, we have 179 of these now in 44 markets. So we're next to the big GDP and the big population centers. Well, expand more on what retailers are doing in the cloud, because it's quite an incredible space. I mean, retailer, all, all, all the, the headlines are pretty negative lately with retail. Well, I, th I think you and I both know, and, and, and our friends and family, we're doing a lot more shopping online. And so there's, there's a massive amount of work going on to enable this online commerce. And I think the store of the future is going to be different than the, than the retail stores that we walk into today. So there's a lot of going on there to the technology development to enable this, this move to a more digital world. All right, and then before we let you go, in early May, you announced the acquisition of Verizon data centers, giving you some nice exposure to Latin America. H how has that been going so far, that integration? Well, we're only a month into it, but it's, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a, another historic acquisition for our company. It, it extends our scale and reach across North and South America. 
Our teams are doing fantastic work with it. We're working very closely with Verizon with the go-to-market relationship with them. And I think, again, we'll, we're, we're in the middle of it. We're only a month into it, and so we're, we're very early days, but it's, it's off to a great start. All right. Well, Steve Smith from Equinix, it's always great having you here. We hope you come back to see us soon. Good to see you, Scott. Thanks All for right, having thanks, me. Thanks, Steve. All right. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.